I started my job and I kind of combined it basically all my appointments into today also I feel so awkward vlogging because the camera's up there and people can see me um, but yeah so because I started my job I started yesterday actually I was able to condense all my clients pretty much into today which is good so I have a fully booked day today I did have a client at like 5 um, she had to reschedule though, which is fine, but I still have clients up until then. Um, but I wanted to get my nails done first. It is 10.30 in the morning. I'm literally like a little late. Also, this is just so bright. I, this is literally so oversaturated right now, uh, but it's fine. So right now you can't even see my nails. If I like focus, no. Hold on, I need to... My mom has like this little pocket in her car that I was able to kind of stick the camera on, but it's so saturated because of the sun. It's fine. But if you can kind of see, my nails are like this dark brown color. So I don't know what color I should get. I don't know. I have to think about it. But let me tell you guys, I went to my job yesterday for my first day. I don't know if I love it. I think it's just because the job right now is reception and that's just like not obviously ideal. Like that's not what I wanna do is be a receptionist. Um, but the goal is to be a medical assistant and they want you to start as a front desk first. But oh man, I better like be able to kind of apply for the medical assistant position within the next like couple months because I do not like being the front desk i think it's because it's 12 hour shifts which is actually really long they're really long like and we get a lunch at 12 30 but it's only 30 minutes and i think it's just like so hard to be eating my lunch knowing i still have seven hours left i think that's what killed me yesterday and i was already there for since 6 30 so six hours i'm like oh man it's actually technically like a 13 hour shift but you get a lunch so whatever but it's just really long i don't know i feel like 12 hours is pushing it like if this was eight hours i was good at eight hours and then after those eight hours i was like oh, i'm trying to go but we'll see i'll keep you guys updated for now it's fine um i recorded a little bit in the morning too but some patient um i recorded a little in the morning too but it's literally like two minutes worth of footage so i don't know i'll try to record maybe tomorrow i was staying at my parents house last night so i don't know it just kind of like threw me off in the morning the dogs come running downstairs my parents come downstairs i don't know i was just not really able to record as well as i wanted so maybe i'll try and record tomorrow so i'm late for my nail appointment and i feel terrible I need to get there. I need to stop talking and focus. This is the color I ended up going with. Can you guys see? There we go. Well, kind of. It's like, why is it so bright? I don't know how to turn this down. Um, but it's like a maroony red ish color. Okay, I feel like I kind of fixed the settings, but now is it too dark? I don't know. See if I could show you guys my nail color a little bit better. Hold on. Move up a little bit. See if you could see my nail color a little bit better. It's like a wine color. Um, but now I am going to get some lunch. I'm going to get some Chipotle. Because I'm just going to get lunch and then go right to my salon. Because I'm kind of just enjoying the weather. 
relaxing a little bit. My client is, like my first client of the day, is getting her hair done right now in the same studio. And when she's done, she's just gonna come right over to my salon. So I don't really know when she's gonna be done. But I was like, for now, I'll just kind of relax, enjoy the weather for a minute. And then I have a client at 1 and 1.30 and then 2. So that's fine. Also, Jollibee just opened by Chipotle and it is insanely busy right now. What the heck? Okay, let me find parking. Okay, got the Chipotle. I think what I'm gonna do is just drive to my salon and eat it, not maybe in my salon because it's so stinky, but maybe in my car. I'm not even trying my face. Maybe in my car outside of my salon, just so that I'm already there and then I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, so let me drive there really quickly. Okay, in my studio. I forgot I left this like such a hot mess. <clears throat> um, Cause I had makeup trials last time I was here. Oh yeah. So I have all my makeup all over the place. I'll see, I know you probably can't even see me, but I'm in the corner. I need to move my chair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I put it in the middle so that Mariana and I can do hair trials. Okay. Okay. I'm going to set up for my brow wax intent. Then I have an underarm and another brow wax and then another brow wax. But yeah, let me. Okay, I did all of my clients. I did four brow wax and tints and an underarm wax, and now I am done for the day. Also, someone just got an Amazon package if you just heard that, <laughs> but yeah. Also, my camera just died. Love that for me. Also, I feel like this is so dirty, like so dirty. Anyways, um, here's my nail color one more time in a different light. It's like this wine color. Um, I'm on my phone now. <sighs> my stupid camera died. Whatever. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so everything is cleaned up ready to go and my mom's gonna be home soon excuse me um i'll see what my dogs are doing i'll see what my brothers are doing as well and grab all my stuff and my stupid camera that is now dead whatever it's fine okay that's what i got at chipotle too grab all my stuff turn this off perfect this up and then I am ready to go. Alright. I wanted to do a little update on the job situation and put it on the end of this vlog so that you guys can see it when I update it. Um I'm sitting on my chairs downstairs. Don't mind our messy fridge. I'm cleaning today. I am. I promise. Um but basically i recorded a vlog and everything and then i recorded this vlog which was um the day after my first day this was the tuesday and it's now sunday or no it's now monday so it's been a week i worked at that job for three consecutive days and i have already quit and there's honestly so many reasons as to why I did, but the main deterring reason as to why I quit that job is because they, it was a seven to seven shift, but you had to be there at 6.30 and I wouldn't leave until like eight. Sometimes they said you might not leave till 8.30, nine o'clock. And I mentally couldn't do the 14 to 15 hour shifts. I couldn't do it. And I did that three days in a row. The pay was actually so bad, it's embarrassing to say, like, I don't even want to say, I don't even want to say how much you make there. It's actually ridiculous. It's in the low teens, okay? Um, after tax and stuff, it's literally, like, penny change. And I did it because I wanted to get experience 
in a dermatology office, but the experience was literally just not worth my time. It was hurting my business, which I expected it to a little bit, but the pay that I was getting there is so little that it wasn't like, it's not even enough to pay my salon rent and my apartment rent. And if my business is gonna start hurting, then I can't like, I can't balance out both because I was making more at my business and now that I'm working there, it was basically taking away income from there and I would have to basically use that income to pay for my salon if I wanted to keep it, which I did. Um, so it just wasn't worth it, if I'm being totally honest. Plus, I am just not the person. I thought, I was like, yeah, I could do it, it's fine. Or I could sit in one place for 15 hours I can't do it I literally can't do it I was like after the first day I was like um mentally I can't do it like I feel like I'm brain dead after sitting there for that long some people can do it like the girls that were there they were like oh it's not bad you just like torture yourself for three days pretty much and then you have four days off but I think the thing is I didn't have four days off because I still have weddings and I still have to work at my spa so I'm working three very long days and then still working the other four days that I'm supposed to have off so yeah i can't do it plus i was seeing kind of what the medical assistants were doing there because that's what i was trying to go into and i just i just didn't like what they were doing i guess like i just couldn't see myself doing all of the stuff that they were doing um and it just it's just not for me and what i've kind of realized as an esthetician i think i started my business five years ago and I went right into owning a business because no other place would really hire me because I had no experience, which is something you might come into if you graduate esthetician school. It's really hard to get a good job like out of school because you need um, experience. So then you have to work kind of more like a massage and be, you know, lifetime spa, hand in stone. And I just didn't want to do that. So I started my own business. And I feel like in doing that, I've always thought, well, what if I did this? Or what if I can do this? Because I never got the chance to do that. I went into esthetician school wanting to be a makeup artist and I also really liked extractions and watching a dermatologist like do all that, you know, gross but amazing stuff. So I wanted the opportunity to like possibly watch to do that um, and just kind of like be an assistant essentially to a dermatologist so that I could watch wherever. Um, and so I just feel like I've always kind of thought the grass is greener. And honestly, every time I do a job, it always brings me back to my business. <laughs> it just it just brings me back. It, it's like such like a humbling, like, girl, just do your business like you always have been doing. I think I just get frustrated with my business because I work so hard at it. And I feel like financially, it still just isn't enough. Which is so frustrating. But... I just really got to kick it into high gear with this business because apparently this is what I'm just destined to do. Like no matter if I try to do something else, it always brings me right back, which is obviously it's just meant to be, you know? So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. And honestly, I highly advise if you're an esthetician and you graduate school, don't be afraid to try things and don't be afraid to like humble yourself when it doesn't work out. I've tried a bunch of things and I've tried a bunch of different jobs like in the esthetician field and it just you know it brings me back to what I'm actually supposed to be doing but I am not embarrassed for trying something that I've wanted to do and it's still something I still want to do I just right now I'm not gonna focus on that I'm gonna just focus on my business and maybe I need to go to school in the future to do more of the medical stuff that I actually want to do Kylie and I talk about it all the time um, like if we want to work in a med spa and assist in Botoxing and stuff, you got to get your nursing for that. So that's just stuff that we've discussed and talked about, but I don't know. I just, I know this is insightful for some people. I was talking to some of my, um, subscribers on Instagram and stuff. You guys could always DM me if you have questions about my crazy life, but I was talking about it with, um, a subscriber and I was just like, I just always feel like I'm missing something and at the end of the day I have to humble myself and appreciate what I do have because 
I don't know, it's really hard. I just feel like I committed so fast into my business and I didn't try anything else, but I understand now that obviously I was meant to do that five years ago. So I just wanted to give you guys an update and then end this vlog here so that you guys aren't waiting for working vlogs because they're still just gonna be in my spa. Um, okay, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna edit this vlog for you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.